Alright. These are blue headphones. They're blue. I don't have to introduce them. You know what they are. And these are the Solo Tour Vision, which if you check on Amazon this very moment... Uh, none of them Prime shipped, which is interesting. But about a hundred bucks gets you a set. Now the last review of blue headphones, and they're always blue for some reason, uh, didn't go so well for the doctor. But these are not those. Time has passed. We've moved on. A generation has come and gone. These are good. I know. Sit down. Where are you going? Okay. We have to do math. We're going to do math now. Everybody universally agreed that the original beats were shit. They sounded like shit, they're built like shit, etc., etc. However, the beats by Dre Name pulled in so much ungodly money that fixing those problems is a pittance. Uh, yo, I'll reenact Dr. Dre fixing the problem. Yo, spend like twice as much on those fucking headphones. And they did. And instead of costing $4 to make, now they cost $8 to make, and they're fixed. Because they're all still made in China, and because legitimately these are about $8 to put together. So, once you're not 100% greedy and you're only like 95% greedy, you can fix lots of things. You think X1s cost 200 bucks to make? This costs about 13, 14 dollars, I guarantee you. I know how manufacturing works. And all they wanted to do is to shut people like me up and stop calling them bad. So I put them on, go through my playlist, then I sh take them off my head and walk away because I'm like, what? They're a closed set and they're on ear because they're little tiny little on ears. So they've automatically got a negative because they're on ear. But of the on-ears I've tried, these are pretty comfortable, actually. This fake leather has an actual, legitimate, real leather look and feel. The clamp isn't bad. There is still a rattle, but it's not that rattle. It's not the rattle from the first review. There's no added metal to make these heavier. Now, granted, these are the Solos. And not the pros or the studios or all the other fucking ones they have. But they're built pretty well. The cup rock here doesn't feel like it's going to break. The wire is attached, of course, with a very beat up button and a microphone. The cord is not spectacular. It's. Just look at that. Look at the sprawling. And these are an old pair. So that has had plenty of time to straighten out and it hasn't done it. So the build has been improved. Tremendously. But the sound, the sound is where we are. Now, do they still have the Beats sound? Well, the Beats sound, if no one's ever heard Beats and you tell them, like, what do you think Beats sound like, they'll explain it to you. Uh, murderous bass and that's it. And these have elevated bass levels. It's, it's sort of a, like a, a given at this point. You're never going to find a set of Beats in any denomination that is not slightly elevated low end. But what these threw me with was vocal clarity and highs and mid-range. And I would say imaging, but the imaging is just okay. No soundstage, because, uh, you know, they can't work that many miracles. It is a very small, closed set of headphones. Momentum 2s will have more soundstage and better imaging and less bass. But the vocal clarities and highs in this are not bad. Like, legitimately not bad. Like, I just put on the last thing. The Red Book from the Sherlock Holmes 2 soundtrack. Which, if you haven't gotten that soundtrack, listen to it. Go find it on Spotify. And it's just violins. And, he, he, and it sounds perfect. There's nothing for me to complain about. In the mid-range to high, there's nothing. For me to, the low end... Comes off a little bit dirty. It's definitely a little bit too high. But if you're okay with that, 
then you have, I can't look at someone who's wearing these and go, you bought shit. You didn't. You maybe overpaid a bit, just a bit. For a hundred bucks, you can get the Audio-Technica M40Xs, but I mean, well, be mindful, these are the retardo pads, these giant things. But even if they're not, that's still the same size. So you're not, you're getting the solos, because look at them, they're small and fashionable. Even this, they, they almost feel like the kind of headphone materials here that you'd get if they handed out headphones at like preschool. Like someone could puke on this and it'll be fine because it's, it's watertight silicone and shiny plastic. Disgusting with fingerprints, by the way. I specifically didn't clean it before this review because you could see the absolute horrendousness of that. But if you cleaned it and you made sure when you put it on your head you only grabbed it from here, they would look pretty damn good. And they come in all the fucking colors of the rainbow. What do we want? Oh, uh, we got black, blue, gray, pink, purple, red, turquoise, is that orange? I'm sorry, blush rose, uh, white, is that black? Hunter green and stone gray. So any color you want, because the doctor has all the money. And if they sound like this, I can't, I can't knock anyone for using them. So I'm here to be honest and here to change perspectives on things. Am I going to tell you to run out and buy a set of Beat Solo 2s? Probably not. But why? Why not? Other than the fact that the cord is just fucking garbage. Hate it. They sound, they sound good enough to recommend. But you'd never get over you wearing Pete's. Even this video, no matter how popular it gets, will not fix the image that has been burned into the consciousness of anyone. I'm not, if you're a Beats fan, I'm not talking to you. If you know nothing about headphones, I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to people who know what that is. Oh, that's a little dot. If you know what that is, then you know what Beats are and you hate them already. So I'm talking to you guys and I'm trying to just convey a very, very gentle nudge towards give them a chance. They've got infinite money and they could fix things with, you could, Dr. Dre could come out tomorrow with a set of headphones that beats the Orpheus Sennheisers. Because he could just take 1% of the profitability from Beats, drop it onto an actual research laboratory, and say, make me the best fucking headphones ever, and they'd, they'd appear in a year. Now he's not doing that, but at least he's convincing the children in China to do a slightly better job of building these. And by convincing, I mean feeding them. If it had, oh, I'm so, uh, detachable wire. I am apologize for that if I didn't say it. It's a four pole. It's really tiny here. I'm not sure if you're gonna get something else in there. Let's see if my extra three pole will fit. Oh, yes, it will. Love this cable, by the way. This is the uh, uh, Status Audio. Sells a two pack of cables. Uh, this red one and do I have it here? A four foot black one with microphone that would be a direct replacement on your Beat Studios or Beat Solos. So good, you don't have to use this piece of shit. So here's part of the problem gone. If you own these already and you're watching this, feel free to, uh, I'll add the link to these wires, a two pack. Not two pack. Oh God, Dre, put the gun away. What the hell is a wire? It's somewhere. Things are somewhere. All right. Um, soundstage not happening. Imaging, pretty goddamn good. These don't compete with like the MSR sevens or the NADs or the PSBs. I mean, but they're a hundred bucks, so I don't expect them to. But for a hundred dollars, if these were any other brand and not blue and not just touched full of fingerprints absolutely absolutely i'm uh i'm proud 
I'm proud to be holding these. I'm proud to be making this review. I may not be selling you any, but if you got them, you you don't have to worry about not knowing what decent. The low end is still not the best. It's way up there, but it's not the best. But vocal clarity, the highs, the mid range, it's all there. Or you could do that for a little bit. Same price for these without the pads. Might want to consider it. Sound demo in the description. Just beats. Yo.